What's up, Kid Point? Pastor Evan here, back for day seven of our Holy Week devotion and our resurrection eggs. Now, this is what we call Silent Saturday. And it's called Silent Saturday because it's the end of the Holy Week. And I'll get there in just a minute. But first, let's look back into the resurrection egg. On day one, we celebrated Palm Sunday, where we said that Jesus came into Jerusalem riding on a donkey, and people put leaves down in front of him to show that he was the king who had been coming, who they'd been waiting for. On Monday, we had a piece of string because Jesus drove the money changers out of the temple, turning over the tables and showing people that this is not how God, God's kingdom is supposed to be. God's kingdom was supposed to be different. It was supposed to be a house of prayer. On Monday, or on Tuesday, the religious leaders came and they challenged Jesus' authority. They said, you don't have the authority to do this. But by his questions, his answers, and the questions that stumped the other leaders, Jesus showed that he had royal that's why it's purple, authority to show what the kingdom of heaven was really like. But even Jesus' closest followers didn't understand. And so one of his followers, Judas Iscariot, decided that he was going to, for whatever reason, he was going to betray Jesus to these religious leaders for just 30 pieces of silver. That's not very much. So we put a coin in there to remind us that even Jesus' closest followers didn't understand the kingdom that was coming. But on Thursday, Jesus celebrated the Passover meal with his disciples. So we put a cracker in there to remember that Jesus took bread and he took wine and he said, this bread is my body that's broken for you. Do this to remember me. And he said, this, this wine is the new promise that God has for you and it's in my very blood. I'm gonna give my whole life for the new life that you can have. But on Friday, we put two nails into the resurrection egg to remind us that the religious leaders, they didn't understand Jesus at all. So they took him and, and they crucified him on a cross. They put him to death on the cross. And Jesus' friends took his body and they put it into a tomb that night. A tomb is kind of like a grave, but it's a cave that's carved out of the rock. And they put Jesus' body in there. And then they rolled a big rock over the entrance. So you're going to need to get a rock, whether it's from outside or, or where, if you can get one in your shoe, wherever you can get it. It can be this big or a little tiny one, but you're going to put it in your resurrection egg to remember that they put Jesus' body in a tomb. And on Saturday, everyone thought that all the good things that Jesus did, they had ended because Jesus had died and, and nobody had ever come back to life. But you see, Jesus was different. And tomorrow is Easter Sunday, and I'm going to show you how you can tell the whole story with this egg and the last piece of the resurrection egg. See you tomorrow.